Hi everyone! We are excited to announce the first version of our new library called React Native Executors. With this tool, bringing on-device AI features into your React Native apps is easier than ever. Let me show you what it's about and how to get started. Currently, we support the latest Llama models, but with future releases, we plan to include more LLMs, computer vision models, and gradually expand towards generic use case. Our work is built on top of Executors, a framework from Meta that is a part of the PyTorch ecosystem. It allows to run PyTorch programs on end devices such as mobile phones. The PyTorch models are first exported into a binary using a Python API. Behind the scenes, we interact with the executor runtime, which allows you to load and run the models. Let's see how fast you can integrate an LLM into your React Native app. Let's import the user LLM hook. It takes two required arguments, model source and tokenizer source, which are passed to the exported model and the tokenizer. To save time, you can use constants from our library. It also has two optional parameters, context window blanks, and system prompt. While the model is loading, you can check the progress using the isModelReady property. On the first run, the code will fetch the needed files to the user's device. To start a conversation, we'll use the generate function, which accepts a string with the message. The response property is updated with each token until the response is complete. You can also leverage the isModelGenerating property to disable the button while the model is generating. In case you want to stop the generation process, you can use the interrupt function. And that is it. Make sure to play with the library and share your thoughts. Stay tuned for future releases.